Hi, my name is David Kelsey, and uh, this is uh, the lecture uh, uh, one for uh, critical thinking at Coastline Community College. And uh, this lecture, we're going to discuss uh, the idea of critical thinking. Okay. So in our first slide here, you can see that uh, we have some basic notes about uh, what critical thinking is. I think the most important thing to understand about it is that it is just thinking about thought itself. And so what we do is we try to understand thought, uh, to evaluate thought. Uh, and, and, and basically the idea is that what we want is uh, to, to get better at it, to understand what's right about it and what's wrong about it, right? And so we're looking for, uh, for example, uh, to find strategies, thinking strategies that are effective for us, right? And, and then the idea is that we'll be able to use those in the future, right? And of course, we're looking also for sort of pitfalls uh, or more ineffective strategies in thought as well. And then the idea is that we'll learn to avoid those kind of strategies in the future. Um, and so really, that's what we're trying to do is understand thought itself. And I always like to tell my students that because of that, uh, really, uh, this is one of the most useful classes that you can uh, take uh, at the college level because uh, we really think all the time, and so we're really in this class trying to improve that, that idea, right? And so it is uh, so great in that sense. A um, Couple of things about what we wanna do as critical thinkers. The first is we want to be objective. And uh, objectivity is opposed to subjectivity. And uh, with objectivity, what you're trying to do is sort of be level-headed or cool or calm in thought. Uh, and you're not uh, letting, for example, something like bias uh, something like an emotion like uh, sadness or anger affect your thought, right? And so we want to be as objective as we can and open, right? Open-minded uh, to every, every possibility, right? Even the possibility that we could be, we could be for example, uh, something we believe could be false, right? And so that's a really important uh, idea in critical thinking. Um, we want to make sure that uh, to, to really understand critical thinking, we want to really think about the idea of reason, right? Reason. Uh, and, and, and reason, I think, really, the way to think about it is that uh, idea of having a reason, you know? And so uh, a reason really is just um, a piece of evidence or support in favor of something, right? And so the idea is that when, when we develop a belief, right, when we come to believe something, we want it to be reasoned. We want to have good reasons and evidence and support in favor of it, right? And if we don't, right, then we should, we should throw it out, right, and find something that we can find more evidence and support uh, to back up, right? So that is, that's the idea there. Uh, the last piece on, on the slide here I have is, is the idea of analysis. Uh, in critical reasoning and critical thought, we really analyze, right? We analyze thought. Uh, again, to understand why it's right or wrong, why it's a good, effective strategy or an ineffective one. Um, but analysis, the very idea of it, I think, is really what critical thinking is, is you analyze thought. You try to understand it by digging deeper, right? And so we don't just take uh, things at face value. We don't take a kind of superficial understanding of things. We try to understand and dig a little bit deeper so that we can, we can know more about things, right? We ask questions to dig deeper, for example. And we do research to support that and back that kind of reasoning up, right? Okay. So that is the basic uh, understanding of, of critical thinking that I think you wanna take in uh, when, when uh, you know, heading into this class. That's really what we're going to be doing. And uh, you know, we'll, we'll really spend quite a lot of time on understanding good effective strategies in thought and also uh, you know, more, more like pitfalls as well, so we can learn to avoid those in the future. And that's really the basis of the class. Uh, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you enjoyed this lecture, and uh, we'll see you on, on the next one. Thank you so much.